Oh, what's up everybody? Once again, it's Brand Man Sean. And today we gotta talk about what to do when you go viral. What I mean by this, well, let's start here. You may have seen and remember when Doja Cat's moo went viral. Bitch, I'm a cow. Bitch, I'm a cow. Go moo. But a lot of people might have missed a few key things when it comes to how that song went viral, the process after it started to move. What we're going to do in this video is bring it on back for a second. So first and foremost, the original video actually got posted as an audio. It was an audio on YouTube, the song played, the song started to move. People were like, I can't believe I like this song. People were curious, they thought it was stupid, funny, all those things. But Shortly after, for whatever reason, Doja Cat's team decided to take the video down and actually replace it with the music video and a different audio. What was the difference in the songs? It was actually like the background guitar type sound. I'll play both of them side to side so you can see if you hear it for yourself. Cash rules, everything around me. Ice cream, ice cream, ice cream. Cash rules, everything around me. Ice cream, ice cream. My best guess is it might have been the guitar type sound from some sort of sample. So they wanted to make sure that they didn't get any strikes and make sure they had 100% ownership of the song since it was going viral. And not to mention, initially they didn't have the music video. They did get a music video up in a relatively short period of time. And that new music video did have the redone version of the song. But these are all changes that are starting to happen after the video took off. And the third thing is the actual name of the song. A lot of people might not have noticed. Quite a few of you who follow this channel probably saw the original Doja Cat Bitch I'm a Cow coverage video that I did, but that actually put me on to something because a lot of people in the comments were like, isn't this song called Moo? Like, wh why are you calling it Bitch I'm a Cow? Isn't the official name called Moo? You know how people in the comments always trying to correct you on something. And I'm like, what do you mean? It obviously says on the song that it's called Bitch I'm a Cow. But I did some research and got to the bottom of it. Now, when I was originally sent the video and went and researched it and found it on YouTube myself, I saw that it was Bitch I'm a Cow. That's all it was called. But then I remembered that it did get changed to Bitch I'm a Cow, Moo in parentheses. After these people were making these comments that, hey, isn't it called Moo? I checked again and it was called Moo with Bitch I'm a Cow in parentheses. Now, when I was going to pull up the title for this particular video, it now just says Doja Cat Moo. She literally did a quick rebrand in the span of like three weeks, maybe four or five, but you get the point. It was a real short period of time and most people did not even notice. Now, of course, it probably helps that moo, 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 moo is all throughout the song and whatever, but I think one of the reasons why probably has to do with just the marketability. Having a curse word right in the title of your song probably prevents it from being in certain places, certain platforms, just talked about in certain ways, but I'm sure they've had their reasons. And even the last thing is, Obviously, they added it on to all platforms, the Apple, the Spotify, the YouTube. It was only about two months ago that she posted the original video, took the original down, changed the guitar, some of the sonics in it, added a music video, since then changed the name of the song slightly about three times so she could maintain that SEO, and then also added the music onto Spotify and all these other streaming platforms. Now, of course, if you look at the keywords she has included in the video, she still has bitch I'm a cow in there because you want it to still be searched and found. But it goes to show that one of the biggest things that you need to start to consider if you have a video that's going viral or a song that's going viral is what's going to make it more marketable are there any things inherent to your video that are going to prevent it from going farther than it is? For her, one of the things was the title. For her, one of the things apparently was something to do with the music, whether that was going to once again be some kind of sample so they wouldn't have been able to get the money from it. But you have to start to find those things and a lot of people forget to do that part of it. We all know that we want to get it on another platform, continue to get visibility, but you have to figure out, particularly with music, what are the things that are going to prevent the traction, not just add traction to it. Because if you have the things that add traction, but still don't eliminate those things that create friction from it moving by itself, then you're going to be wasting money or effort. 
Anyway, I want to know if anybody else noticed those changes that happened in real time. It was so fast that those things happened. A lot of people, I feel like, missed it. And on top of that, don't forget, every Sunday, I'm asking questions on Instagram. Follow me at Sean. Other than that, if you like this video, go ahead and hit that like button. If you like it, might as well share it. And if you're not subscribed, you know what to do. Hit that subscribe button.